From Lindenwald High School, this is the Morning Roar with anchors Carlos Coleman and Santos Bonilla. Meteorologist Khalil Peters and the 411 with Alexis Brown. Good morning, LHS. I'm Josiah Harris. Welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning Roar. And I'm Sanders Bonilla, and today is Thursday, March 13th. Attention all students, get your yearbook orders in now. Mr. Maggi is currently taking orders for the 2014 Legacy Yearbook. The book can be ordered online at our school website as well. Please see Coach Maggi if you have any questions. Breaking news, Macho Minions are in Vail and High School. Student concerts host dinner and a movie on Friday, March 21st at 6 p.m. Enjoy a pasta dinner served by some of your teachers and this book will be me too. Tickets are on sale in the cafeteria for eight dollars. Come out and join a night of fun. Attention all students, we want your to get in 2014 photos for our yearbook. That's right, if you have any questions or great pictures with this year's constant snowstorm, we would love to have them. Show off how you spent your extra snow days. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Coach Magic. LHS students, do you have a talent? Do you know someone who does? Sign up by today with Ms. Dodi and Ms. Goldberg to audition for the LHS talent show. Categories include dance, instrumental, and singing variety. Attention students, please be reminded that the school uniform policy is enforced here at Lindenwell High School. Refer to pages 21 and 22 of your agenda for a full explanation of what can and cannot be worn. Remember that hoodies of any kind, headpants, and gray shirts are not be permitted to be worn during the school day. If you are sent to the main office, you will be subject to a two-hour detention or more. Attention member of leading ladies, both Ms. Belgo's fifth period girls and Ms. Keene's after school girls are this Friday's meeting. March 14 will be community service opportunities for you. We'll be making baked goods for a local animal rescue, St. Patrick's Day's bake sale. Now it's time for weather. Let's go to a meteorologist. This is Brown with today's forecast. Today we'll have a windy day of a high of 29 and a low of 17, and winds coming from the northwest at 26 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the Friday forecast. Friday we'll have a partly cloudy skies with a high of 47 and a low of 36. On Saturday we'll have a partly cloudy day with a high of 60 and a low of 35. On Sunday we'll have mostly cloudy skies with a high of 48 and a low of 25. On Monday we'll have a Mostly cloudy day with a high of 33 and a low of 23. We'll wrap up our Friday forecast with Tuesday. We'll have a mostly cloudy day with a high of 33 and a low of 23. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Alexis Brown with the 411. A fierce fire erupted along a residential street in West Cap May a week ago. Two bald eagles were locked in a territorial tussle, their sharp talons exchanging blows as each tried to protect its white crested head. Alarmed, a neighbor called authorities. State biologist Kathy Clark arrived 90 minutes later to find the bloody birds still grappling and struggling. She threw a sheet over the board, badly injured eagle, capturing it as his fell flew off on Tuesday. Clark released the Eagle, now mended after a stay at a rescue facility at a state-owned wildfire management area in a remote part of Winslow off Polly Holly Road. The bird took off into the wind, perched briefly in a bare treetop, then circled the area, swooping and flapping vigorously. Within minutes, he had flown out of sight. The bird's experience reflects a good news and or bad news story for New Jersey's endangered bald eagles, said Clark, a supervised bio biologist at the State Department of Environmental Protection. This has been your 411. Now back to the news desk. I'm Josiah Harris. And I'm Sanders Benet. You stay classes in the ball. Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at www.lhstv.com.